Okay, so if I decided to just stand here and literally say nothing for the next five minutes, I think you guys would be a little freaked out. I would be at least. <laughs> and so that's why I agree with the quote, people who make no noise are dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you today about how you can take that literally in a social situation, how you could use it in your schoolwork and school aspects, like education, and in the workplace. So with social situations, you could take it like just with meeting friends and stuff. If you're trying to talk to someone and they're not really responding to you and they're just sitting there, it's like either offensive or it's like, this person's weird, why aren't they saying anything? Or you could take it more like on a deeper level with the case of like school, like the large scale school murders, they're always the quiet one, the ones that don't say anything, the ones that no one really talked to. So that goes back to people who make the noise dangerous. And if you overhear someone saying something like making a threat, even if you're not taking it literally, if you choose not to take that and bring it to someone's attention and something does happen, that was dangerous because you decided to keep quiet. So in school situations, um, I personally like experienced the classes that I decided to participate in and ask questions. Like if you get no if you ask no questions, you get no answers. So. The students that always decide to participate raise their, raise their hand in class and they seem to do the most well. Even if you are getting the wrong answers, at least you're learning from your mistakes because you're choosing to put yourself out there and just learn. And so the ones that decide to sit there and don't really pay attention, sit in their own little world, don't really make friends in class because they just want to do their own thing, you're being dangerous to yourself because you're not getting all you can out of your educational experience due to the fact that you're not deciding to say anything. Um, in the workplace, there's always the ones that are everyone's friends, like everyone knows them, they laugh, they're not, they may take the easy way out and not do what they're supposed to do, but they're overall a good worker. But then you have the quiet one that's always like follows the rules, doesn't really talk to anyone, just gets their work done. Yeah, they're doing their job, but the one that's being loud and talks to the manager and everything, they're most likely going to get the promotion, unfortunately, even if they're not that much better at their job, they're deciding to put themselves out there. Well, in the case of the quiet one, they're not going to get noticed as much because they're not deciding to just speak and be outgoing and put themselves out there, like you said. So, to wrap it all up, I just think that if you're going to, you can be a quiet person, but put yourself out there in some cases because if you don't ever take that first step, if you don't say anything to people, if you don't decide to speak what you're, what's on your mind at some point, you're never really going to get anywhere. So you're being a danger to yourself, and in some cases, literally a danger to society. So. Well, Ga Gabrielle, I liked everything in the introduction. I thought you had a nice hypothetical, a clear statement of your goal, a good preview of what the contents is going to be. Uh, and the contents, I thought, were also pretty well developed. You had some examples. I think you could have gotten a little bit more detail into a couple of them, but it's all very well organized. Presentation, it's easy to hear you. There's okay variety in your voice. Your gestures are pretty solid. Um, your eye contact, it's interesting. I think you're looking out at people, but you're not really engaged engaged with the people. Same sort of thing with your facial expressions. You're animated, but again, it doesn't always seem like it's connected with what you're talking about, and uh, it, it's just an extra step that you have to take. Nothing that was bad, it's, so it's not like there was some failure there. It's just that it, if I was having this conversation, I'd feel a little bit like you were kind of going through the motions instead of really engaging and talking to me. And most of you know what I'm talking about when I say that sort of thing. You know when there's somebody who's really interested in you and when somebody is just, they're there because they have to be talking to you. And so I think you need to work a little bit more on trying to connect with the audience. And the conclusion was fine. All right, thank you.